What's up, what's up, people? We back with another episode of Beyond the Clientele. I'm your host, J1, J100, Mr. So 100. You know I do it the So 100 way. Man, today I got a top-notch situation going on. You know what I'm saying? I got my guy, man. I got, man, I just met this brother, man, probably about, it was last year. I just met this brother last year, man, and, um, just off the meet and greet, man. It was just official. You know how you know, real recognized real, man. So when I met this brother, I knew we had to link up one day. And here we are on Beyond the Clientele podcast having to sit down. So, uh, man, no further ado, man. I'd like to welcome my boy Jamal and Smirky Fur in the building. What's up, bro? What's up, man? How you doing, good brother? Man, I'm good, bro, man. Hey, first of all, I appreciate you coming on the show, man. I'm blessed to be here, man. Yeah, man. Um. Uh, let me first start off by saluting you, you oh, know, man, for being uh, like for being one of them guys that do their thing and do what they got to do out here, man. Thank you, thank you. Um, what I want you to do, man, is tell the people what you bring to the look good and feel good industry. I mean, everything I do, I do it with passion. So yeah, I'm bringing passion to the table every time. So anything I got my name on or I'm attached to, I'm doing it with passion, and I just want to bleed out good energy to everything that I touch so no doubt no doubt so so what is it that you do specifically though like in the as far as you know look good industry covers entertainment you know beauty and barber world you know health and fitness you know what I'm saying um you know club owners club promoters we, we covering all that so what specifically do you bring to that part of the industry oh man I've been in the entertainment business 22 years 22 years. Since I was 16 years old. Dig that. Yeah, 16. So I, you, you. I threw my first party at 16. Oh, uh, yeah? Yeah. Oh, uh, you jumped off straight off the porch with <laughs> Yeah. That's and, what's up. And, you know, I've been in it ever since. So ever Ent- since. entertainment is my number one passion. Though. Entertainment. Uh, yeah. No doubt. No doubt. So that's from club promoting, uh, shows, all that. Uh, the club, whole realm. Club owning, promoting, shows. I mean, um, you name it, I've done it in the entertainment, Dig on the entertainment that. side. Yeah. That's what's up, man. That's what's up, brother. Well, um, so as far as your uh, business or whatnot, let the people know how they can uh, tap in with you, uh, addresses or locations, you know, anything like that. Let them know that, man, so we can get that business part on out. Okay, as far as social media goes, Facebook, Jamal and D. Fair, Instagram, Smirky underscore Fair. Um, you can go to my website, Um, That's mainly where you can catch me at and any in- inquiries or anything. Yeah. Just hit me on that, and I'm sure I'll get back to you. Okay, okay. Well, y'all heard that, man. Tap in with my guy on that business, man. Um, so, you know, as you know, being, the show is called Beyond the Clientele. So, um you know, this is one of them platforms, man, we want to get to know individuals right. a little more personal. You know what I'm saying? So uh, tell the people a list of things that you are beyond the entertainment. You know what I'm saying? Beyond all that. Tell the people a list of uh, things you are. I mean, man. you know, of course, I'm a father, um, community activist. Um, I do public speaking. I mean, you know, I'm I'm a watch movies type of guy, too. Yeah, you know what I'm yeah. saying? It's not all work, you know. I'm, I'm, I'm real shy sometimes and yeah. I'm real goofy sometimes you know yeah. what I'm saying but the most important thing to me is you know is being a father my kids you know they you know they look up to me I look up to them so that's kind no of doubt. my main reason and my sister I got one sister no so, doubt. so yeah. me I've been in it since uh I was 16 she was 10 our mom passed okay on my 16th birthday wow so that's how I got into nightlife so, wow man my condolences thank you, okay thank you. um and from there, we just, you know, we, we, me and her, we pushed on, and um, I got through high school, junior college. Yeah. And, um, she got through master's degree, so she's yeah. good, married, you know. Okay. So. Okay. We're going we to tap into <laughs> that. We're going to tap all into that, man. Yeah. So, um, okay, you said uh, fatherhood, man. I think fatherhood is probably the realest hood to be a part of, man. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Oh, so yeah. uh, tell me a little bit about that, man. You got how many kids you got? Oh, man, I got these girls and one boy. You said these girls? Yeah, man. I don't know if they, you know, they, <laughs> they the girls run me, man. They so, different, I ain't mean. it? Lashes and hair yeah. and purses. And, man, I, hey. But, I mean, honestly, though, you know, my kids say my whole 
life. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it yeah. It made me look at life differently, having kids, especially a girl. Yeah. Um, my son, I like I said, he he's a spin image, spitting image of me and my dad. So, yeah. You know that's motivation. Uh, he had a Black History program the other day, and uh, he wrote about me. So, the, yeah, that, so things man. like that is what you know. That's what pushes you. To, yeah. You know, keep going. Cause so many days I want to wake up and be like, man, I'm gonna let, man, him, I'm let him have it today. I don't even want to put no fight up. You know, yeah. the game getting so. You know. Yeah, I, trust me, so, I know. Trust me, I it know. Be so many days I just say, man, you know, cause I'm not, I'm not, I'm not a dumb person. So you know, yeah, I, you I, see I, what's happening. Yeah. So yeah. I, you know, it, it ain't enough for me to pull out a laptop and you know yeah, get to play. Get to it. <laughs> I said, man, you know, I could just do me a nine to five. Yeah, you know yeah, man? yeah. So I'm comfortable. Right, right. But I mean, when you put here for certain things, man, you, you really have to sacrifice and keep it going. Yeah, and stick to it. And I think, you know, people like you, me, and others out here, we have to keep it going. With no platforms doubt. like this. And, no you doubt. You know, like the way we met. You know, for real, we, yeah. we met at another establishment. Yeah, another, but yeah. It was like we did the same thing. Like, whoa, the energy yeah. just connected. So energy real, man. <clears throat> you you got to keep that going, bro. For like sure, for saying. sure, man. And I and, and I, I do, like I say, want to once again reiterate, I appreciate it because when I reached out to you, it was a no-brainer. You yeah, know what I'm really? saying? Automatic. What I like that, about? man. Yeah. I was already looking, though. Yeah, So yeah, I, yeah. I was saying to myself, you know. You was like, in tune. I was like, like, you know, I wanted, you know. But this was yeah. last year. Yeah. I was seeing the people. I said, okay, well, I wonder who he remembered me. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Nah, I'm going to tap in. And, you know, and you know me being um, acquainted with so many people. Right. You see what I'm saying? It's it's and you know you might say no. I'm acquainted with people I still don't know yet. Right. Even with me and you, right. me and you, the energy click. But right now is the time I'm getting to know you. Right. You know, with the people. You know what I'm saying? Oh, right. um, as for you know, social media, you see people. You know what I'm saying? But I'm talking about getting to know. It's different, man. But I definitely you you was uh, you was on the first list oh, yeah. created. You know, now. Me, I'm, you, know, you know what I'm saying? I'm sitting at home like man. You know. It's dope, you know. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, I think man. I can get, I can get with this, and I'm like, man, I appreciate it, bro. I but appreciate it. And and then I, again, I want to say, I want, I want to give your flowers because this is hard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I tried this before. For real? And and I just didn't have the time. Yeah. You know, it, this takes time, effort. Oh yeah. So I do want to say, I, I think I did like two episodes. You uh -huh. know what I'm mean? saying? And I just like, and I, I normally don't quit things, but. This just takes a lot of time. It does. You know it what I'm does. saying? So yeah. I do commend you on keeping it going. Man, you know I man? appreciate it, brother. Don't don't get it twisted. Now, like you <laughs> said, I had to pause. Man. But but really, I'm gonna be honest, I actually paused uh because of the holidays. You know, I was dropping an episode every Sunday. Mm -hmm. But I realized I was moving too fast. You get excited. So, yeah, I was moving. I, I thought that would be the way to go, but after I, you know, you know, sometimes you know you kick off something, you gotta regroup. You gotta pull it back. Yeah, so I pulled back, but it worked out because it was Christmas, New Year's, and then I said, you know what? I'm gonna let the Super Bowl fly by too. After the Super Bowl, I dropped my first episode of 2024, so I'm back at it. Oh yeah, I'm finna crank it back up. And then people like you and other people that I've reached out to really inspire me to keep going the response i got from you you know the response i get from people that make me want to go ahead and push it you know what i'm saying i'll be telling my wife that like man it, you know that that's my inspiration once a, per, a person hears my idea and be instantly in tune with it i'm like i must have something you know what i'm saying it's i mean it's, it's a good look and, and, pushing, and i think man. that's what we have to understand in the entrepreneurial world, it's really a trade for trade. Yeah, you know yeah. And everything comes with relationships. No doubt. So, no you know, doubt. I could get on your platform. Yeah. And then use my platform to go further. Take then, it you know, it's a win. Yeah, both ways. that's dope. Yeah, so, man, I appreciate you, brother. But, um, you know, back to you, man. You, um, you the man of the hour for sure. So, this is what I like to do, bro. I like to do this, bro. I, I, I be, um, I got this thing where I take decades of your life, right? Okay. So, starting with your first decade, I want you to tell the people something that uh, impacted you and stuck with you to this day as a man. You know what I'm saying? And it, you know, you you know, it can be something simple. It can be something major. It can be a, a whooping from grandpa that meant like to this day. I know yeah. I ain't gonna do that no more. You right. know, it, it, whatever it may be, but uh. Break it down, you know, and just give us a few things that made Jamal and Smirky Fur who he is 
sitting here today. So I mean, starting at decade number one, one to ten. One to ten, I'm gonna have that to little say. Little boy, I'm gonna have to say family. Yeah, you know, family is important. I'm, I'm from Mississippi, so you know we 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 all grew up. You know, spent the night at each other's house. And, yeah, you know, whenever somebody had a problem, everybody had a problem. Yeah, and um, growing up, you know, I was the little black bad kid. Yeah, know, I yeah, wasn't yeah. good. I was bad. Yeah, yeah. And um I always had family. Like I always had protection. My cousins and you know, back then I didn't have a sister. My sister wasn't born yet. But right. I always just was that person that, you know, everybody looked out for every because I did bad stuff all the time. Yeah, like yeah, I was yeah. the bad one. <laughs> Some got broke, I broke it. Yeah. But um So didn't nobody even have that they knew you did. You no, know, I broke it. But yeah. family and like even all the way, you know, to now, man, my family has been what it was, like all my businesses and companies and like whenever I do something, I bring them in. Yeah. Whether they last or not. You know what right, I mean? Right, 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 yeah. I bring them in. Like my sister's been with me from the jump. Excuse know? me. She handled, yeah. you know, everything. You know? For real. No matter what needs to be done, my sister is the one. That's dope. You know what I'm saying? So she's, she's behind the scene. She's not <laughs> into none dope. of this. In a she ain't like gonna come sit down nah, with me. She nah, ain't doing that. Nah. But and, she and the crazy part about it, you about seen my sister a hundred times for real. Because we like night and day. We don't we don't look alike. But yeah. that's my only sister. That's crazy. And you know she, but she she been a backbone bone to me since sixteen, bro. Because I ain't gonna lie, it took a lot to get mentally where I'm at. Yeah. Um, dealing with what we dealt with. Um, like I said, my mom was murdered on my sixteenth birthday. Wow. So her ex boyfriend stabbed her to death. Wow. And we lived in a small community. That I was going to say, this happened in Mississippi. Mississippi. Okay. My grandfather was the mayor. Wow. So, you know, it was just, and, and you know. That was like a, a <laughs> big deal. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And um, it, I, I actually got this in my book, so I, we, but we'll talk about that later. Yeah, we're going to get to that. But yeah. anyway, yeah, so my sister actually seen what happened. You okay. Know what I'm saying? But she didn't panic or nothing. She just fell back in her room and waited until he left. And um, move, fast forward in, in life. It traumatized her, but it traumatized me more because mm. I always been the loud one. I always been the one that's going to get out and make it happen. And yeah. you know, my mom, you know, I don't think she ever whooped my little sister. I don't think I ever seen you know, I always got yeah. whooped. I got beatings. You, yeah, know you what got beat down. <laughs> so when my mom left, I became a man that day. Instantly. That day. Yeah. Like I could hear, I was laying in the bed. I didn't even go to sleep that day. That night it happened. And, yeah. um, I could hear my grandma and my aunt and my sister's dad in the, in the front room talking about the crib, like, you know, we just going to sell it. And I got out of bed, and I was like, nah, we, we ain't selling no crib. Nothing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm going to go there, you know? And, you know, I was 16 in my own crib. Yeah, exactly. You know what I'm saying? 10th grade, I had my own crib, you know what I'm saying? And I navigated through life. You know, my grandma, she was there, but I taught myself how to be a man. You know yeah, my dad was in the army. You stepped straight up to it. Yeah, my dad was in the army. You know what I'm saying? And, okay, and salute to him. I'm an army yeah, vet too, yeah. man. I'm and me and my dad, we we super cool. He yeah. lives up here now, and he had me happy Mexican yesterday. But um, I I just every day though, I taught myself. I navigated through life, and yeah. you know, I learned what mistakes to make and not. Yeah, you know taught what I mean? yourself. And, yeah. yeah, you like, live to learn. Yeah, I done it. It ain't too much. I ain't done. Yeah, you know. But like I said. You know, with God and experience, you can't lose. You can't lose. Now, you a fool you keep doing the same yeah, thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. You bang your head against the wall, you're going to knock yourself I out. I mean, come on, man. But yeah. uh, like I said, man, it, it, life, it's been a roller coaster, but yeah. you know, we ain't, you know what I'm saying? I never close up. Even probably, Stand up. Never. So tell me this. So we're going to go to 10 to 20. Of course, I know that that, that experience was part of that decade. Yeah. So I'm sure that's that was probably the biggest impact on your life in that window. I mean, I, I didn't have a care in the world from yeah. 16 to 20. I, I didn't care about nothing. Yeah, I had money. I had cars. I had my own house. Yeah, I was 10th grade. I had rims on my car. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Showing up. Yeah, I was killing. It. I had all the little girls. I played yeah. basketball. So uh, you was in there. I, I don't. I don't think none of this stuff that I'm sitting here telling you about now made. Made you. I mean, it didn't matter then. Yeah. yeah, yeah but yeah. like now that I'm older, you know, I, I could have made better decisions. But yeah, yeah, yeah. But nah. But for a 60 year old, you was making I'm the ones you're supposed to get back. Yeah. yeah. Like my teachers, like they like, you know, I come to school, nobody waking me up. You know what I'm saying? Listen, me. hey, it's crazy. <laughs> and it, and I, I just gotta chime in, man. Literally, 
for on for under different circumstances, mm -hmm. I was living that exact same yeah. way at sixteen. I was a father though. I was I moved out, moved in with my girl, mm -hmm. had my first baby at sixteen, and lived like a grown man yeah. at sixteen, bro. See, I had my first child at seventeen. I was still in high school. Yeah, and you know, my 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 first uh, daughter's mom. She was a little older. Yeah, that's and, how I was, yeah, like three know, years old. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I never, I never got on the level of, <laughs> with the teenagers. Yeah, like, like yeah, I'm, I'm already grown. You know what I'm saying? I got literally, bro. I'm you telling know? you, I was literally on that same thing for, under different circumstances. Yeah, man. And I think that kind of played an impact because you know I had got kind of you know you got wild. Yeah, I yeah, yeah, I wasn't listening to my grandma, yeah. grandma yeah. no more. Yeah, he got grown. I had this grown woman. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, up too much. Yeah, up too much. That's how it was, bro. Hey. I literally, man, was living like that. My mom let me move out, though. My mom come from that old school. Her brothers left home early, so when I was deciding to leave, she was like, I ain't going to tell you you can leave, but I ain't going to stop you. Yeah, yeah. Man, packed up. But, like you said, I was, I had a mindset that where I had been waking myself up going to school since yeah. I was about 12, 13 anyway. So, she, even people in my family was like, he going to drop out of school. My mom was like, he ain't going to drop out of school. Right. Like, I'm going to handle the business. Yeah, because <laughs> he do that. You know what I'm saying? So I stuck to the script, but I was living yeah. living like a grown man, like you said, you know what I'm saying, amongst the grown men. Now, I never hung with people um, at a certain point. Now, now, growing up, I did have partners. We played ball. But once I got a taste. Of that grown life. And to be honest, um, the day that my mom passed, one of my partners, he came to the crib. He was like, you know, you, you ain't never got to worry about nothing again. You know what I'm saying? But he, you know, he was in the streets or whatever. Yeah, but yeah. he protected me. Yeah. And he showed me the game. Like, he showed me how to come from nothing. Cause he, he came from nothing. Yeah. But he had it. And he never, he never, you know, he never put nothing in my hand. He never, yeah. he always made me go to school. Yeah. You know? Stick to the script, he man. Had yeah. the, he had to fly cars. He had let me drive him to school. You know what I'm saying? Before I got my car. Yeah. And to this day, we still cool, but. It was that type of um, guidance, man. Guidance that let me knew that you know what I'm saying. I could have went the other way quick. Mm -hmm. Cause normally when you have, I look at people that have lost their parents, and especially lost the way I did. Yeah. They, they like they go Turn to savage. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like because bro, like, it's because it's almost like a, you want revenge on the world. And I did. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie. I, me. I wanted revenge so bad until it was eating me alive. And then I learned the, yeah. the greater good. The older I got, the, I read a lot. So, yeah. and, and, and I'm, I'm enjoying that time by myself. Yeah. So, they always say never answer your own questions, but sometimes you have to because. If you know it. Yeah. So, once I start understanding the purpose, now I'm, I'm going to put something on your mind and we, we can I'm switch off. I'm with it, bro. I, so, you're a father, I'm a father. Yeah. If your child was standing in the middle of the street and then see an 18 wheeler coming and you yeah. saw it, yeah. what would you do? Mm, I'm going to get her, man. Okay. I'm okay. going to get her. So yeah. you will sacrifice yourself yeah. for your child. So that's why I had to look at what happened to my mom. Not how it happened, yeah, but why it happened. Yeah. Once, once I figured that out, and I started bleeding into my sister because no, nobody really mattered but me and my sister. Yeah. You know, my my grandmother, you know, that's your daughter, so, yeah, I understand. But yeah. my sister is my priority. And once I got that into her head and my head, my hustle just, like, there's nothing I ain't tried to do almost. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just ain't got no man made. Like, I don't know how to cut hair. Yeah, I don't yeah, know yeah, how yeah. to draw. I'm with you. But... You give me a building, <laughs> I put some people in there. You gonna put some people? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I turned my marketing into uh, it's crazy. Into um, I told you my grandfather was the mayor, and my grandfather had so much paper that he was so cheap. Yeah, and too cheap, too, too cheap. rich to be to spend. Too cheap. So he got so cheap to, he just stopped campaigning. He had got so cocky. Oh, I got this. Yeah, and I said, man, you can't do that. Yeah. I started taking over the campaign, and you know I make the flyers. You know I'm putting yeah. them out. And before you know it, you know, he's calling, you know, my boy. So he's telling his other man friend, you know, hey, my boy, he ran the campaign one. Now they see the impact. Yeah. So I started running well, campaigns. Skills. Yeah. yeah. I started, <laughs> real talk, I built, I built my club staff, and we were running campaigns. Wow. And we haven't lost, well, I ain't done it in a minute, but 
The ones we did do, we got one. We ain't time. lost none. Real talk. Yeah. So I got, you know, I was getting paid out there, getting them paid out there too. That's dope. So, That's dope. Yeah, man, it, it works out. It works itself out. That's what's up, man. So okay, well, we gonna merge into them, them twenties, twenty to thirty. That's a hell of a window. I know that's 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 that manhood window. That's the evolution window. You start transition. I, I start, you know, then I'm just having kids. Anyway. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> that boy got wrecked. I ain't gonna even lie. I just, <laughs> I had no male guy, you know, child support. You know, like nobody explained. <laughs> ain't nobody pulling your coattails. <laughs> like, boy, boy, hold on. I man, I started getting the taste of Memphis. You know, yeah. I started traveling. Yeah, moving the crew. And, you know, I'm, I'm starting to hit the spots. You know, I'm young. I'm coming to the, uh, you know, I'm coming downtown to the plush. Yeah. You know, I'm, I'm getting, you know, one yeah. thing I like about Memphis, you got that paper. <laughs> you go. You know, I'm, I'm like 18, 19. I'm paying 150 to get in. Yeah, I'm VI. Yeah, okay, I will. I'm supposed to be in here, but I'm here. Yeah. Uh, I just started really experiencing, man, life. Like, I, I didn't, I, well, I graduated junior college. Yeah. And man, I moved to Atlanta. Ooh. I moved to Atlanta 06, 07. Ooh. So you know, you know the vibe in Atlanta. Ooh. I took literally, and my grandma would tell you this, and my dad. So I, I called my dad, I was like, look, I want to try something new. You know, so he was living in the A then. Yeah. I said, I just need to know where to move. He said, you know what I'm gonna do? He said, I'm gonna set you up. He said, you know, I'm gonna set you up in a spot. You know, I'm I'm, I'm gonna take you the first two months. You come up here, you're on your own. Ooh, that's, I had that's just, a lick. just got a Brand new Tahoe, and um, it was like a it was an 07 model. So I had slapped some twenty fours on there. Yeah. You know, I'm, I'm 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 that person yeah. where I'm from. <laughs> and uh, we drove to Atlanta. I had a nice spot. I was staying this spot in the uh, Stockbridge, good mm-hmm. area, gated. And man, I got down there, man, and within a week, my my, my grandma, I swear to God, you know, mom had left us a little money. Yeah. My grandma gave me ten thousand dollars. I was broke in a week. Oh, you turned up. I went crazy. Like, you, you know got, I'm from the country, so yeah. I'm not knowing about Sunday to Sunday. You know, yeah, they eat your money out You there. got Magic City to Sunday. You <laughs> got, like, old Nashville. They eat your money out there. Man. I called my grandma Sunday night. I swear to God. I was like, Grandma. In a week? I got something to tell you. She was like, what? I said, I'm broke. She said, son. I don't know what to tell you. She said, son, <laughs> you need to sit down. And she said, from now on, I'm just going to send you so every week. And I said, man. <laughs> No, nah, Grandma, I'm going to get back right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, I'm I, straight up. I'm I told my dad. Back. My dad started laughing. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm with back. him. I would have did that. I'm on that. He was like, I already knew. He was like, you were so anxious to get here. They going to eat you up. Man, it's like the sun shine every day in Atlanta, bro. Every day at the grocery store, yeah. anywhere you go. It's people. Like, it's just. And so Atlanta was what I needed, though. Yeah. The Atlanta, OBI. At, yeah, Atlanta taught me, you know, that the game is the game. Like you, you really gotta know what you're doing. Yeah, you gotta watch who you around. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So I learned a lot in, in in Atlanta. I got robbed in Atlanta. Yeah, and that's what made me move back because I was like, you know, people figuring out where I'm at now. You know what I'm saying? I got a little car wash, and yeah. I partnered with this guy from Atlanta. Got a car wash, and I had chains. You know, I'm yeah, flashy, yeah, you know, yeah, I'm just living. And um, I had my first vehicle was a Jeep Cherokee, and um, I painted Smurf blue. Mm. People call me Smurf because I painted. And I went back home and got it and brought it back. And then I had a Tahoe, too. Yeah. So I'm doing too much. You right? shining. And, um, you shining out there. My dad played in the Army League basketball. Okay. So if you know anything about that, you know, they the games would be like 5 in the morning. Mm-hmm. So he kind of get me one morning. He was like, you know, where the Jeep is? I said, it's out there. The, <laughs> you know, my dad took the whole truck. Like, I said, oh, man. He thought you had left. Well, he thought he left somebody to borrow it. Yeah. And, um. The next day, I was coming out of the store, dude snatched my chain, just took out the run. And I was like, nah, you know what I'm saying? Let me know what the sign is. This, this getting too toxic. Yeah. Toxic yeah. wasn't even out yet. You're going to kill somebody or yeah, die. Yeah, I mean, you know, yeah. I'm, I'm going to shoot you, you're going to shoot yeah, me. Yeah, you're going to kill somebody or die. You got so, to. Man, I, I called my grandma again, and, and she was like, man, look, just pack up what you want to pack up and come back home. She was like, it's okay to come back. And I had a, I had a baby on the way anyway yeah. down there. Oh, in, in Mississippi. Yeah, I, I told you. Yeah, level, you had left. You had planted a seed. Then but I, you know the crazy part about it was, I told her I was like, "Hey, come on, let's go to Atlanta." You know, I'm living like, "Let's just go to Atlanta." And yeah, she was yeah, like, "No, yeah. I just can't move to Atlanta." Right she ain't with that. Because everybody that got their parents, I don't think like this. Yeah, I ain't got yeah, no parents. Yeah, so like, man, I'm God, let's make that play. Yeah, yeah, like, 
So it, it worked out though, man. I, I came back and yeah, got myself together. And, you know, yeah, worked yeah. on through some things. So so in in that in that window, how many kids did you have in, in your twenty to thirty window? I mean, don't well, wait, no. Oh, so let me put the record out so we be straight. Yeah, I'm a so. six kid father now, so you can't, you might, hey, not, you so might can't get with me. I don't know. That's probably why we sit the same. <laughs> I got six. I got five girl, one boy. So I'm the same way. Yeah. Okay, so, yeah. but my my girl, really seven with my stepdaughter. You know. Yeah, what well, I mean? I don't know. He, he just add them too, boy. I'm with you. Because I'm I, you know what? Because I, you know, I do. I have had stepdaughters, and I, and I'm still locked in. Yeah. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. So if they ever need something, they know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. And then I got my niece, and I yeah. go down the road. Yeah, just, yeah, yeah. But anyway, with the kids, my first one, uh, my, my older daughter had at seventeen. Yeah. Then I came right back. I had a daughter, and I didn't even know. Well, we didn't know that the daughter was mine. So uh, that was a that, that was a whole thing. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Uh, but uh, it was got, in my hometown. Hey, we got mirror situations almost in that time. Yeah. So <laughs> so it was like a one time thing. Yeah. And you know she we had a dude. Yeah, she had yeah, a dude. So you think it is he? Is? The dude bright on black. So, <laughs> and we was drinking and kicking it one night, and it just happened, and we forgot it happened. Right. Excuse me. Yeah, it's stunned. And it was like three years later, she, you know, since she hit my aunt up, was like, you know, yeah. told my aunt, my aunt was like, hey, you know, where you ain't come to the house? I'm like, whoa. I get there, I see her and the baby. I swear to God, this is a true story. <laughs> and um. I'm still like thinking about it, like, man, what she, you know, I yeah, know her, yeah, so yeah. I can't say her what name. she doing over yeah. with her baby? Then yeah. she was like, you remember, blah, blah, blah. I said, no. You know what I'm saying? Because I didn't. Yeah. And she was like, um, she yours. I was like, okay, you know, well, you know, we'll do the blood Let's test, blah, blah, up. blah. Yeah. And if she is, you know, it's yeah, whatever. What it is, yeah. And out of all my kids, this is my only black baby, like my color. Oh, uh, yeah. And that, that's what's so crazy because, and, you know, she's a girl. And after that, I had. I was with, um, in college, I was with my daughter, mom. I had her pregnant, and I double back to my again. first baby mama, the grown. Oh, the grown. Oh, my God. I just, I don't know what happened. Yeah, I, you hooked. No, nah, <laughs> I, I came down. I came down. Um, you wanted to show what you do a little older. You like, yeah, I'm this now. Like, I don't know, man. It just, <laughs> but you know what? But me and her so cool right now. It's it, like we laugh about it, but. Yeah. I came down from Atlanta visiting to visit the baby mama yeah and he ended up uh, and then so I, both of them was like oh my god what, what am i doing well, yeah it's just getting out of control and yeah. um they end up you know having the you know the kids and you know yeah then i, I got, had my son I got, yeah. I got married okay how old is your son he's 10. he the youngest no nah. oh he ain't the youngest the, okay the okay thickens. okay <laughs> <laughs> i had my son i was married um I'm trying to see when I got married. I got married like 13. Um, uh, and I had my son. And okay. my son was the first boy. So, right. I mean, so he, he's the only boy. I mean, he, yeah. he a blessing, man. He, like I say, he, he everything that I used to be, but I'm molding him to be better than me. You know yeah, what I'm you see it in him. Yeah. I, sometimes I chin check him quick. Like, yeah. nah, we ain't going to do that. Yeah. And um, I got a three year old. Okay, that's the youngest. By my ex, yeah. So okay. I got a three year old. And she, she smart, man. She, That's good. She, man. she, she kind of runs the fort. She, oh uh, yeah. She like you know, she, <laughs> she there Dig to that. be three. Dig but yeah, that. that's what I'm like. That's my squad, man. Everybody, you know, it's a lot of girls, so you have a lot that, of attitude. I'm, I'm, I'm trust. <laughs> I know. I got grown ones, man. I yeah. got grown girls. Oh, mine grown. I got my first grandbaby, man. So. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I'm with you. Yeah. I know what it is. I, yeah, and then I'm a widow father. Oh. So I raised four of my daughters myself. That's man. deep. Yeah, That's deep. yeah. I, I got some tragedy that I've been through, brother. Yeah. Man, I'm talking about for real. So real that that actually is part of what made me create this platform. Just my my story. Every time I told a client, you know what I'm saying, or talk to people, and they they be like, "Dang, for real?" Yeah, because people see you and they just think yeah, you just think you got it all together. Yeah, like, nah, I worked to get here. Yeah, like, I went through something to get to this point for yeah. real. So when yeah. I'm celebrating, I'm yeah. celebrating. Yeah, you better know. It. <laughs> yeah, you better know. It. It's a reason for this celebration, yeah, man. Oh so yeah, that's yeah, real talk, man. So um, get to the thirties. All right, what you got going into thirties? I know you, 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 your dust done settled. Yeah, I start now. Thirties is when you start to expand. Yeah, the the, uh, the elevation, that uh, evolution of manhood kicking yeah. in. It, you know, you still 
Now I'm still playing, but yeah. now it's time to make yourself a staple. Yeah. So now I get to going on my own, and you know I get the club. And yeah. You know what I'm saying? The club. That did it. It did it. Like the club, I don't think. You know what I'm saying? And, and I'm not just saying this, but I don't think it'll never be nothing like that again. And and where where was the club at? It was in Fry's Point, Mississippi. Fry's Point. Yeah. What was it called? Club Flash. Club Flash. And 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 when I say that, I say why? Mm. The building was hold about five, six hundred people. Mm-hmm. And we had all different gangs and all the rivals. You know, we brought we brought artists through you know, yeah. boogies before if I was smart, if I was smart, uh-huh. I'd have signed a boogie to a management contract years ago. Back then. I'm telling you. He turned that John up. Yeah. <laughs> I took book like we took boogie and I say we because my whole Shout out to Boogie. Yeah, man. yeah, big Shout boogie. Cool big guy. Boogie, whenever yeah. I need him to, you know, shot one of the kids out of their birthday or something. Yeah. He'll do it. But um we took Boogie <laughs> when he came to my club, he had just dropped that song. Um and he was dancing on the song. stage. The slow song. And everybody was laughing. Yeah. Not me. I was like, you knew what was finna I said, happen. Oh, this 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 is this is yeah, they go go, yeah. Cause I, I strive about women, so I'm like Damn right. And then we brought him. It was yeah. just crazy. And then we started taking him to other places in Mississippi. Just Because you knew it was a hit. Just like I said, back then, you know, you didn't know. Yeah, but yeah, you didn't know the hit, but you knew it was a vibe for, for women, like you said. Well, one no, of them. I didn't know the business. Okay. I knew he was going to be him. Yeah. I didn't know, you know, like I said, if I, if yeah, I signed him yeah. to a, a 20-year management contract, <laughs> <laughs> 20 years. I mean, I'm just saying. I'm with you. You locked in. I'm yeah, locked in. Locked I mean, in. we go where we want to go. Yeah, but. let's go. Yeah, real talk. But you know, again, like I said, man, that's I love to see that because, you know, I, I seen you him see him go on the way up. Yeah, from man, from where he was at. Yeah. To now, you know, I call the boy show that. Them numbers ridiculous. Yeah, them numbers high. I mean, <laughs> I, know, I, know them I, mean, I ain't high. knocking them, but, no, but to it, go from where we yeah, started yeah, yeah. to now, like, that's crazy growth, though, bro. Yeah. Like, I'm talking about, and he a good dude. He not, yeah. he always going to be him. That's People gonna, I you know, like Boogie. I, yeah. I don't know him personally, but I, I, I'm into him oh, with him. Dude. I like Boogie, good man. Dude. Yeah, good I dude. like him. I like, uh, even with the dance and shit, man. I used to dance back in the day when dancing was the thing back in the day. Psh, teenager. Got my, most of my girls dancing. <laughs> well, everybody want to be tough. Yeah, everybody want to be I, tough. I, I'm, I'm knocking your gal out. Yeah, you know I, what yeah. <laughs> Listen, I'm, I'm telling you, I, I, I don't want to be tough. Yeah. I want to be wealthy. Yeah, I'm, I'm telling you. I'm talking about all, all that. tough man, he man. See, man. Tough, see, tough guys don't land long. Yeah, no. Nah, I'm, and I'm I think what he did was well, he broke a barrier that yeah. can't be he tough. He did. He did. And, he, he, and then he doing that, the way he doing it, Ain't nobody else finna finna do but it's try. Over. It's over. And listen, R.I.B. Ain't no other rapper finna try that. He cornered that. That's a monopoly market Man, he got right there. His jeopardy is so long. Yeah. So it's so long. Ain't like, nobody gonna do he it. He just getting started. He young. Yeah. Yeah. Like, he young. I knew once he started going to other cities, selling our shows. It, it's time. Yeah. You yeah. know what I'm saying? He and got. Like, he like got some. I, I believe in that. My. I believe in. Um, Finding your niche. That's it. And don't do it with everybody. So yeah, what man. they so what it didn't work for them or so man, find your niche and go for your gusto. That's it. Man. That's all you got. You know what I'm saying? Your your passion is what's gonna sell you. For sure. You yeah. know, so like when I first came to Memphis, you know, I did my recon for like two years. Uh-huh. And I went out every night, I bought bottles, I bought yeah. boots, like I popped it. Just to pay attention. Just see what they're going on. See how they do it. I went to every spot. Yeah. I know all the owners. Yeah. On purpose. Yeah. Now, you know, I'm at, I'm at, I'm at work now. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I done seen what's going on. You know what I'm saying? See what it takes. Yeah, yeah, I'm looking like, okay, up. Smirky, you, you doing this in Mississippi. Yeah. So now let me bleed on. Same formula. Yeah. So, you know, I do, you know, I do white affair, black affair, all that stuff in, yeah. in, the, in, the, in Robertsonville, Mississippi. Yeah. In the River Park. So I've been doing that 10 years with my partners, too. But Memphis, to me, is not bad. Yeah, Memphis really is a is, is a is a, a centerpiece. Yeah, to the yeah, South. yeah, it is. You know, it and, is. I mean, crime. You know, yeah, crime is everywhere. Man, that shit, yeah. It's bad. It's yeah, bad. It's but you know, just just out of Mississippi, 
it's been like five murders in yeah. the last this year. So yeah. it, it's you know crime is going to be everywhere. It bleeds. It bleeds everywhere. Yeah, it definitely. But the real question everywhere. is, are we utilizing all our tools to stop it? I I don't think so. No, we don't. No, I don't think so. See, like uh, okay, like your story. I'm gathering information from your story, but it's some kid that's sitting in the classroom that's just like us mm -hmm. right now. And if somebody that you know that works for the school board, yeah, they could get you to come in and speak and talk to them. Yeah, but they, know what I'm but they, know what I'm but they rather not pay you good. Yeah, no, no, no. yeah, that name. Oh, no, yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm being honest with you. Yeah. I mean, like I've been on the political side and yeah. the street side before, so I kind of know what it takes. So when I do public speaking. I didn't even know you could get paid to do that at school. They was I was public speaking for free. Yeah, I was wow. it's in the budget. It's in the budget. They bringing a, a, a Uncle Tom and dropping it off on him. He get the whole budget. He get <laughs> flight room. I'm yeah, like, he get the whole budget. But you, man, man, just call. He, man, come on, man, do this. Man, I'm, I'm up prepping. Yeah, you know, and, and 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 I'm giving a real story that kids want to hear. Cause like kids, they see they people. relate. Yeah, they, they see relate. people like me, you, and you know other people in the, in the city or in the state yeah. or the internet, and they think that it's all good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They so sometimes they have to, you know, like my son, I have to tell him stuff so he won't feel like, oh, my daddy got it made. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, you, you got to yeah, you got to give them their raw. Day, you know what yeah, I mean? you got to give them their raw sometimes yeah. so they will know because, because usually you usually if you deprive them of that, they're raw and they're real. Man, it'd it be hard for in life. They gonna go outside and be dumb. Yeah, they be they be cra man. That was my motto raising my daughters. Man, as a widow father was to give them the real reality. Yeah, man. I'm talking. My, I lost my first wife to cancer, man. Wow, sorry to hear that. Yeah, and and it was so crazy that a year to the date that I buried her, I lost my other daughter, mom. Wow, in a house fire. I had custody. My four daughters. I had her already at the time too, when her mom passed. So you imagine going, you know what I'm saying? Raise up. Yeah, little kids. They yeah. they ranging from from one to seven. Yeah, little. So I I always um when you know when I was raising them, I always just made sure I wanted them to really understand reality, life, not the the fairy tale, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Just because of what we went through, I just wanted to make it real for them. So now that in, that end up <laughs> that ended up uh, transpiring into some strong yeah. women. That's because they got the game. Man. Yeah, they got the yeah. game. So it's like it's hard. They a hard uh, barrier to break. You know what I'm saying? Female with the game is deadly. <laughs> yeah, man. they like nigga. What? Yeah. They like that with it, yeah. so you know what I'm saying. They they called man. My daughter called me randomly. <laughs> man, you did not give us no soft, no no soft energy out yeah. here, man. We yeah. we uh man. They they think most of the time gonna think like I'm gonna think. And th and that's like that's what I try to tell my daughters. Like you really have to be savage mode. Yeah, I'm talking about from school to work to do. And then yeah. they even try like I got one of my daughters. We talk all the time. My daughter Justin, she trying to, she trying to pull back into her feminine energy. You know yeah, what I'm saying? It's, she it's try, hard. but she is probably a mirror of me yeah. as a female. But yeah. she think like me. Yeah, man, that's Go get it. She a hulk. She ain't studying it. She ain't you ain't finna break her down. Ain't no nigga coming. None of that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? She that's got that mentality. Yeah, I I'm like. Man, don't be trying to make no adjustments out here, man. Fuck man. that. You know what I'm saying? Hey, Michael, it's my show. Man, Lady Brad. <laughs> she like think. that. For real. Don't, <laughs> don't make no not. adjustments. <laughs> she trying to tap into that feminine energy, though. I'm like, man, y'all, I'm like, good luck. <laughs> you too much like me, for real. You know what I'm saying? But um, back to you, brother. But uh, uh, I just wanted to share that little piece, man, just about being real and and raising your kids in the real, you know what I'm saying, in the real element of life. Um, so we tapping into you 40 yet? 38. 38. Okay, yeah. so that's your last decade window right there then. Last month, Aquarius. Okay. Oh, you just turned 38. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. See, did I see you had an event on your page? You got an event coming up on my birthday, which is March 23rd. 
I seen uh, you got some. I'm getting honored. Me honored for men's and yeah, women's down in uh, Mark, Mississippi. Yeah, what's that? What that's, tell the people that's about just that? People paying attention to the to the journey, man. For and, real. And uh, what is the organization itself? It's called, men, it's called Men's United, and what they do, they give back. It's a nonprofit. Okay. Um, a guy, Milton Williams, um, he's big on nonprofit down there. He's actually a state trooper, but I mean, I don't, I know him, but I don't know him. Okay. So, like, you, you really never know who's watching. Okay. Okay. So, but with me, I've always, even with my club, you know, we did a Thanksgiving drive. You know, what uh-huh. I mean? we did back to school drive. You okay. Know what I'm saying, I call all my partners. You know, we give away free haircuts. You know what I'm yeah. Saying? Um, we got this annual thing called Friday Point Days, like Memphis in May. But okay. It's just one weekend though. Uh huh. And you know, like I said, my family and my partners, like we, we've always given back. You know what yeah. I'm saying? I help anybody. You know what I'm saying? But I'm not going to help you hurt yourself. Right. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Don't so, pacify that. Yeah, I yeah. mean, yeah. so I've always been a giver yeah. more than I receive. No doubt. You know what I'm saying? Throughout my journey. So when he sent it to me, he sent me the text. I promise you. He, and he's a state trooper. So they out of that serious. Yeah. And it's always good to have good friends. For sure. And um, he called me like two years ago. And he was asking me about a building he had. And he wanted me to come check it out or whatever. So I did. Mm-hmm. He was like, man, you really cool. And he was like, I said, yeah, you know. Yeah, and he yeah. was like, I said, you too. You know, I thought you was just straightforward. Just police. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah and he yeah. was like, nah, man, you know, I got a life. I'm straight. You know, I'm cool. You know what I'm saying? He's yeah. like, man, you know, I want to keep in contact with you. And throughout, you know, we just kept in contact. And like I said, he be watching. Yeah. But he doing good stuff. Like, he just brought Lisa Ray down. He got the guy from. Oh, he do promoting and everything. Well, with the events. Oh, okay. He bring okay, okay. He bring, he bring them. He brought Carl off yeah. Martin. He brought um, uh, the guy off the game. Um, he brings a lot of people. Yeah. He, he connected with Steve Harvey. Okay. So for the to be honored, you know, like I said, it came out the blue. That's but dope, again, man. you know, people are always watching. Like yeah. They keep working. You know That's what I'm dope. saying? That's dope. Keep man, I saw that. I I saw that March twenty third. That you yeah. know caught my eye. Like, what he got going? I saw yeah, that, I mean, man. I'm, like I said, I, I was I was caught off guard by it because again, like I said, I never know who's paying who's attention, paying attention yeah. to what I'm doing. So I try to keep a certain balance. Yeah, you know, with the internet because the internet is all smoke and mirrors. Yeah, yeah, definitely. You know and I mean? and I, I have that. I, that's a that's a man. That's that's an issue for me. I be know I know it's a tool, yeah, it, but it's, it's the tool. The tool. Yeah. It, you you right. It's the tool, and I just I I go through spurts. But I can't hone in on it and just. I ain't gonna lie, that, that I mean, the internet made me more. I, I never got into now the daily. I, I know what you mean. The, the podca- daily. I mean, not, not the podcast. The, the daily posting and the, the you know. Well, I mean, I I'm post doing. motivational stuff. It's just I never got into the actual how people be on there doing content every day. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like a real blogger. Yeah, or, yeah, yeah. Like I don't do you that. You can't do that. Yeah. But, I, like I haven't printed a flyer in about ten years. Use the straight internet, yeah. It's free game. Free game. I mean, you traded your email. You did, but you, did, yeah. you can't beat that though. You right. You absolutely right. <laughs> yeah, I can post right. whenever, wherever. Yeah. About what I got, as many times I want to, as long as I keep it, you know, clean. Yeah, keep it clean. You and can do it. I can tag you. Yep. <laughs> and then your people can see it. Yeah. Without even you have to do the work, <laughs> so I'm using you. To show, show me. Show, yeah, that's real. I, I know people I get look tired. At it like that. You know, I people get tired like of that. that. But I'm going to tag you. Yeah. Because you should be my friend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm with you. I, and see, I don't use it. I don't even use it to the fullest like that. It's free. You just gave me some free game. Free game, baby. <laughs> I mean, like, why not? That's real. I dig that. I could definitely dig that. I was just talking to um, a friend of mine yesterday. They were saying something about a new platform called Twitch. I, mean, I, well, like, I, I, haven't, I, haven't. I hadn't heard of it. I'm like, they were like, yeah, that, you need to get on. They from, they from up in Illinois and Missouri. I'm sure my kids are. I'm like, Twitch? I was like, man. I, I'm, I'm basic, though. I'm, I'm basic as hell, I'm man. Facebook, no. IG, Snap. You know, I, TikTok, oh. TikTok got me in a chokehold because I watch cooking videos all day. All day. My <laughs> wife be on that, too. I learned man. new recipes. Yeah, she be on that, But other than that, man, IG is is really where it's IG my lane. That's why where I'm most active at, and then I share everything from there to Facebook. Yeah, yeah, I like IG. But I don't uh, don't use it to the fullest. That's the problem. That's really what it is. IG is one of those things that 
you know, it's, it's a centerpiece to connection. Yeah, it's um, definitely that. Now, I use it, you know, like, you know, reaching out. That's what I, even with people I got their number, I, I reach yeah. out on there because I see they active. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Um, uh, let's tap into uh, that book you was talking about, Bobby. Okay. Tell um, the people about that and where they can get that. You know what I'm saying? It's called Platform with a Purpose. Okay. It's on Amazon. Okay. Um, I released it um, a year and a half ago on my mom's birthday in October. Okay. So the, the book kind of gives you a uh, start to updated uh, rundown on me. You know what I'm saying? Like what I went through, okay. obstacles I faced, and how I got to where I'm at now. Yeah, and even right. now, like, I mean, it's not good. You know what I'm saying? I, it's so many businesses that have failed that I've done. You know what I'm saying? That money, you know, we started trucking uh, two years ago, me and, me and one of my partners. Uh -huh. And we just jumped in it because we like it was money. And uh, I don't know how to drive a truck. Yeah. We bought them. Yeah. You know, we, hey, we got the paper, let's buy them. Buy them. Get the company. We smart. We put set some, up put some drivers in it. Drivers, worst thing in the world. <laughs> Lazy, man. <laughs> And that was the only the thing. That was the worst thing in the world. So you should have went and got you some CDL. <laughs> so <laughs> normally, I'm going to be honest with you. Normally, anything I do, I have mastered it already. Yeah. So I can show you. Yeah. So it, with the nightlife, with the restaurant, yeah. and with marketing, you know, with everything I've ever done, I knew how to do it. Yeah. So that way you could stand on it. And my yeah. partner was a, he was a straight nerd. Like, yeah. he, that boy can. Right, the president. He got the today. books, yeah. And yeah he yeah, good. Yeah. So, you know, I got the mouthpiece, my paper, his paper. Teamwork, make the dream you know, work. We lost 100 plus K. And, and the <laughs> boy, I was, man, I was sick. I said, God man, damn. Man, man, we lost so much money, man. Look. Jumping in the game like that. Man, we lost 100 K. In how, in how long? It, 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 it wasn't even a year. God damn. Look, man, I lost a little weight. I said, <laughs> man. Lord, <laughs> if this this your sign, tell me to leave it alone. I didn't leave it alone. And I tried Damn. everything. I tried everything. It just some things are for you. Some are, yeah. I, I'm a I'm a so I'm a seed planter. I'm with you. So I had to bag up. So I went and got my dispatch uh certification. Yeah, to stay in the in the ring. Stay in the loop. Yeah. And then I got the broker certification. Oh, I'm you like, got it, like, I said, you well, got the whole company. The triangle office, because I'm like, why would I give you a cut? Yeah, you know? when you can, you can yeah. run it. So I started yeah. playing the field a little bit better. Right. Well, Smirky, maybe you need to get out of the <laughs> truck side, <laughs> and you just run the plays because you a play and you a playmaker. Man, yeah. <laughs> I had bought a dually. Uh, you know, so me and one of my homegirls, we got a trailer, and you know. Everybody talk a good game, bro. Yeah, yeah everything good. Until yeah. it's time to go to work. <laughs> I had contract with Amazon. Everybody, like, I'm ready. And me, I'm going to get up and go. So, yeah, you ready for it. You, yeah. Well, we got to be it. Yeah, yeah I mean, I'm point. looking at it on my computer. They ding, 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 ding. I'm Ooh, like, oh, shit, we got to work. It's bankroll ready. <sighs> you got to send the email. Unfortunately, we can't. You know, everybody's <sighs> sick. Everybody, you know what I'm saying? Don't nobody want to oh, drive. Oh, you talking about the Oh, yeah, because oh, yeah, they, uh, they give you the job, tell you, Oh, we got a load. Mm -hmm. What it call? Uh, I got a few clients in the truck, and they call it. Uh, it's a load board. Load board. Yeah. So it's so certain, you can pick. It's different companies. Yeah. So your goal is to always build a good relationship. Exactly. And um, you, you want to be on time and never miss. And yeah. man, you know, man, like I said, you turn down too many jobs, they ain't gonna. Trucking. Fuck yeah. They ain't gonna I, I just want to. I just want to put this out there so yeah. people can know. I failed <laughs> at some things. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I, I'm, I'm not. I'm not. You know the guru. I'm yeah, not, yeah, yeah. I'm not gonna get on here and tell you. Yeah, you hit and miss. Yeah. So you don't hit and miss. I really missed. Yeah. And but I was like, man, we finna go back to the streets. We yeah. Finna some. Drug it. Drug it. Make it then go we, back. Go yeah, back. We gotta go back and hustle or something. And my partner like, nah, man. You know, and you know me and him, and he took a chance on me. Okay. Okay. And um, uh, you know. I rock with him for that, and then I, and I got another partner. And like I said, I, I got a good circle of people, and I got yeah. partners in the league, you know. But I don't really ask people for nothing. You yeah, know, I just that's what's up. You know, I got the background to be like, hey, let's go bring Drake. You and know? they like, okay, yeah. They, I'm they sure they'll be like, okay, you, yeah. but I just, you know, if it, it, it need be. But yeah. right now, man, we just plant seed. Like I said, that's I'm, in, I'm in Memphis now. Um, 
You know, what I like to do, man, I like to ask people what a few words mean to them, man. We're going to start with the word loyalty, man. Tell the people what the word loyalty means to you. Um, I think, you know, loyalty is important because <clears throat> you always have to understand that I want you to protect my name when I'm not in the room. Yeah. So no if you're loyal to me and, you know, if something comes up or whatever may come up and you know better, yeah. Educate people. You gotta let them know what's up. And, you yeah. know, don't sit there and be like, yeah. oh, well, I'm gonna let them and say let this. it slide. And yeah. Then, you know, so I feel like loyalty is, you know, whoever can protect my name when I'm not in the room. No doubt. No doubt. Well, um, and, 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 um, one, uh, one thing I always say about loyalty is it requires a relationship. You know, if you don't have a relationship with me, I can't expect you to be loyal with me. You right. know, loyal to me, I should say. Because, you know, it, it, whether it be friendship, you know, significant other, you know, whatever it is, it has to be established with a relationship. If you don't have a relationship with me, I, don't, I can't expect loyalty, you know what I'm saying, from anybody that we don't have that relationship. I know it used to be a, a question in the barbershop, maybe like um, how you feel about an individual trying to holler at your lady. Now, my thing is... If I don't know this person and this person try to holler at my woman, why am I mad? Because I'm like this here. If, if, <laughs> if I'm the only one that want her, <laughs> what is wrong with me? Yeah, something wrong with me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> Nobody else want yeah. with me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I just feel like if we don't, if we don't, you know what I'm saying? I don't even know this person. What am I going to be coming? Hey, man, hey, hey, hey. You know, toughing up on a nigga about the woman. Man, come on, man. You can't do it. So I always made sure I point that out, man, that loyalty requires a relationship. But the next word, it doesn't, man. The word respect. Respect, man. How you feel about that word? I, for me, that does not require a relationship. I think that just, um, well, for me, it's automatic. I'm going to automatically give it. Now, the moment I don't receive it, then we go on a different page. And, I mean, like, that's one of the most important things for me. Um, I just want to be respected, especially for what I do. No doubt. You know what I'm saying? So my, my biggest thing yeah. is being respected for what I do. No you know doubt. What I'm so when I go into these establishments and, you know, I'm not respected, then that's when I – because I'm going to always hype you up. Like, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm yeah. going to hype your spot up. Like, people come to your spot because of me, and you may not even know it. Right, because like, your name. Yeah, is, like yeah. I'm like when I'm on the IGs or the snaps, and you know, people hit me up like, what to do here, you yeah, know, where to go yeah. here. And when I don't get respected for that, and I know what I know where I came from. Right. Like, I know I put a lot into this. And, and not just me, it's a lot of people like me, but I know, you know, when I first got to Memphis, you know, I went to everybody's spot yeah. just to be – in the, the even playing field. Yeah. And I'm still on the even playing field no now. Doubt. To this no day. Doubt. I got mad respect for everybody. But you know, Memphis is a very complicated city. And competitive when it comes to that. But, city. but, but, I'm, I was watching last night. Everybody winning. Yeah. You know oh, what I mean? Yeah. Everybody can win. I, I yeah. was watching last night. It's like, fair game. Yeah. I mean, last night and yesterday, I watched. I, I didn't go out. Everybody was calling because you know, I'm always out. Yeah. But I just sit back because I'm like, the weekend is loaded. It's low. Sunday is the new Action. Saturday. And I look and at all these spots. Yeah. Nothing happened. You know, everybody had a everybody had a packed house from the yeah. brunches to the night. And, you know, that's what I want to be a, a part of doing more of. Like yeah. spreading the, the thought that, hey, you know, you could do it, I could do it, she could do it, we could do For it. Sure. Type thing. But you know, I'm not here to say the world. But yeah, at yeah, the same yeah. time, I know it's way bigger than me. Yeah, you know, so I know what be going it, on. It does, it, and, and and that's a that's a complicated thing. Yeah, it, it actually leads me to another word. Go ahead. You know what I'm saying? I'm and here it, for it. It's a simple one too. Go and ahead. You, and, and where where you headed? Gonna feel this. Well, how do you feel about the word unit? Ooh. It, it's <laughs> unity, man. How you feel about that one? I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm gonna be honest with you. Uh-huh. It sounds good. Ooh. Cold game. That's it. It sounds good. It sounds good. But, but, you know, when when it comes to checks and balances. Yeah. It don't, it, it, it sounds Every, Everybody got to be involved. Yeah. It's it just, it sounds good. 
It's I'm gonna leave it at that because uh, on again, which, on which, you know, <laughs> even in my endeavors, you know, what yeah, man, yeah, 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 it sounds like we're on the right page until yeah. it's time to pay stuff and yeah. like, well, what that for? How yeah. much? You know, like, why is that much? You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, I think everybody gonna always have that. You know, it, it's happening <laughs> at Nike. It's happening, you yeah. know, with Mercedes. It's happening yeah, yeah, all the way up to the corporate level. Yeah, it's just, you know, it's happening everywhere. But one thing I do want to say, though, honestly, yeah, and I want you to stick with everybody. We are the culture. Like we, no doubt, whatever we do, sell. No doubt, we are selling a lot. Donald yeah. Trump got some shoes out. <laughs> yeah, right. You know, no matter how you look at it. Donald Trump got shoes out because we love sneakers. Yeah, right. And I can say we because I'm black. Yeah, so I'm, I'm with you. I'm we with you. I saw sneakers. them gold Johnson yeah. get out. I yeah. mean, and people talk crazy about Trump, but Trump does what people think he's not going to do. Exactly. And that's what's there. Yeah. He definitely does. He's there. De- he's, he, I mean, whenever you, whenever you think about Trump, you really think about a nigga, you know what I'm saying? One blank period. One blank period. He he do nigga shit out, yeah, boy. You I mean, know what I'm saying? I mean, he, he do <laughs> he do nigga shit to disrupt the economy. Like yes. The, the politician, the, like, he, like he, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just shoot this money out. Man, two I, years ago, I just heard somebody talk about I'm, I'm, they need to let Trump in because they're buried. Everybody was happy. Everybody was getting some money. Everybody was happy. Everybody so uptight now. Yeah, they tight now. You know what I'm saying? Everybody uptight. Everybody mad. Yeah. You, know, you got people living life, but. At that point, yeah, everybody, everybody was balling. Was they were balling out. That was the time to be alive, bro. <laughs> I'm talking about seven days a week. Everybody was outside. Yeah, he was dropping it off. Nobody cared about Trump the pandemic. dropped it off, yeah. Nobody cared about They didn't care about none of that. Nah. No mask, no, no nothing. No they mask. outside. Everybody was living their best life, bro. Yeah. And that's what we're here for. We, we, all, we all been through too much. Man, that's exactly what we're here to live our best with, man, for real. But you know what man? Like I said, it, it sounds good. It sounds good, know, no doubt. I, I just, no doubt. I try to stay in my own little... Yeah. I, I come as I am. Yeah, yeah. Everywhere I go, yeah. I'm the same. I want, you know, I want, you know, I'm talking to the owner, you know, yeah. until you don't respect me, then. We then we, yeah, we yeah. just leave Because I respect you. No doubt. That, that goes back to that word. I walk in with respect. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm yeah. always respect you. Yeah. And I want you to always respect me. Yeah, as long as we go both ways. Yeah. And, and not just respect me as a man, but respect me as a fellow entrepreneur. Man. Yeah, fellow. That's doing yeah. what you're doing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It takes a lot, a lot to do what we do. It does. And, you know, a lot of people think, you know, it's peaches and cream. It's not. Nah, man. It, it takes a lot. It's a lot to it. So, yeah, man. I, For sure. I love right. the city, though. I'm here, man. No doubt. No doubt. Okay, we just got a couple more, man. We're going to shed this thing. Go ahead. I'm having fun, I, man. I got, I, got a, I got a real smooth one for you, man. Uh, this one is, you know, this one of them broad words, man. Them, when I say broad, I mean, like, it covers a lot of ground. The word love, man. What does that word mean to you? You know what I'm saying? And, and you know, we got, it comes in all different ways, all different forms, but... You know, like I said, as a father, you know what I'm saying, a son, a brother, that word, it covers a lot of ground. So. Love to me is a, you know, it, it's a it's a level thing. Yeah. To me, like, you know, I got love for, you know, I got different types of love. You know, so, rich, yeah. so I can't say. It's not in one, you yeah. can't put it in one category. You know what I'm saying? Because I got people that show me love. Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like, once you embrace me, that's pretty much that's love, uh, you know. Like it trickle down from the respect, you know. what I'm saying yeah. if you keep showing me love, and yeah. embracing me, then I'm gonna gain some type of love for you, yeah. some type of way. It gotta be reciprocated uh, back. It gotta come back. My kid, you know, that's eternal love. That's yeah. that's never. You know, I got partners that, you know, we locked in forever. You know, yeah. but I'm always show love though. No doubt. I'm, and to me, when I say show love, I'm always make you feel comfortable. Right. A person. Like yeah. I, don't, I don't never want people around me in no setting if I'm in a suit or I'm in a t-shirt yeah. I don't want you to feel uncomfortable no doubt so me I always want to make people feel comfortable man. Yeah. I want you to enjoy yourself I want you to be yourself yeah. no matter what I'm doing man so that's that's my main thing I like to spread good energy yeah. I mean and know, that goes with that goes with the profession you in too yeah, that yeah, goes man. hand in hand I, I know a lot of people like yeah. a lot so and the point of me knowing a lot of people, the way I stay in touch with them people is, 
Sometimes I might text him like, what's up, you good? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's <laughs> real. You all right? I might see him post something that's kind of. That seems a little know, iffy, yeah. You what's gotta up, check you straight? Him. Yeah, you, you know go what's, direct. We don't do that, you know what I'm saying? Or yeah. me, I'm, I may trigger off one time, you yeah. know? I'm going to get checked quick. Somebody going to rear your own Yeah, because they'll be like, oh, no, you don't do that. You yeah. know what I'm saying? You know, you, you the one that give us it. Like, even if I'm in a bad move, I'm sick or whatever, I'm still going to, yeah. you know. See how everybody else doing. I mean, yeah, like. That's dope. That's the only way I'm going to get it back tenfold. Yeah, for real. For real. <laughs> I'm with you. All right, man. Um, check it out, check it out, Smurf. And you probably, I, I, I ask this. I have a, um, I ask this to people, and honestly, I say, eighty percent of the time, I get the same uh, response. Like, eighty <laughs> percent of the time, and it's a sentence I want you to complete for me. It hurts me to see. Just, a, just, 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 um, just in a nutshell, it hurts me to see. It it hurts me to see when we let our egos get in the way of the good things. Um, That's a different answer. And I'm gonna say that all across the board. That's a different answer. That's a good one too. From work, personal. Yeah. You know, sometimes we could be so egotistic until yeah. it can mess up something real good. And a lot of times. Dang. Our pride is just too high. Yeah. To say, hey, Smurgy, come, let me holler at you. I need help. You know, or, yeah, hey, yeah. Jay, yeah. what you think about this? Yeah. Or, can you loan me some advice? You know, everything ain't got to be monetary. Yeah, definitely, yeah. And I think that's the biggest problem. And, and even if it's monetary. Yeah. If you can put the work in, you got to believe in something. Damn right. You got damn right. <laughs> What you gonna do? You gonna walk around all your life not believing in nothing? Yeah, you gotta believe in something. Man, please. Because what real. you got going ain't gonna work forever the way you got it going. Yeah. You gotta keep you gotta carrying gotta believe the ball. in something, yeah. And there's somebody out there that can take you to the next level. That's why I'm yeah. always a student of the game, man. For real. I've been looking at stuff in here all day. Like, yeah. damn, you know what I'm saying? My podcast is boo boo, bro, compared <laughs> to this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm being honest with you, like, I'm like, but I'm saying I'm always studying. That's dope, bro. I appreciate that too, man. So if if if, if you're not willing to learn, you, you gotta open your mind. Yeah, like you can't you can't stay in the twelfth grade forever. For real, and it, it's crazy. That's that's a new one. That's actually a one on one. Nobody <laughs> said that. Now usually it's it hurt me to see these youngsters crashing out. That's been the the well, most common answer I've got. That's, that's still off ego because. True. Yeah. True. The ego. It is, goes right back to ego. My thing is this. Yeah. So my thing is this. If you know, without a doubt, without a reasonable doubt, yeah. that somebody's doing something that they shouldn't be doing, yeah. and you got the power to influence them, and yeah. you don't, well, I ain't getting in it. Yeah. That ain't got nothing to do with me. They ain't got nothing. Until that, that person shoot one of your shoot relatives. one of your people. Now you want to do something now you to wanna, them. Yeah. You know, but I'm not. I've been a kid before. Like I made a post the other day about this. Um, there's no program. There's no nope. nothing in the like when when I was a kid, we had summer jobs. Lined yeah, up. I did. Yeah, I did. You know, I learned how to cut grass, and yeah. I learned how to you know all this stuff. But there's nothing for them to do. But look at the, the internet raising internet our kids. Internet raising, yeah, and the internet raising my kids. Yo, if, man, the internet raising them, yeah. Because whenever you're not around, they on the internet. So you gotta understand what they looking at. Everybody ain't looking at. But seeing, checking, and see what they Jay Z. Everybody yeah. looking at Beyonce. Nah. Everybody ain't looking at you know nah. what I'm saying the Kardashians. It, some people are looking at the black, the world, dark side. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, the dark side of this. Somebody shit. believe everything Lil Durk saying. Yeah, and L- Lil NBA, Durk made it. NBA young, boy. NBA young boy. <laughs> yeah, they, he took a picture laying on the floor with some pills. <laughs> That's content for him, but it's influence for somebody else. Exactly. So you're right. Ego again. It goes ego back going, to ego. You're right. You know, and I, in my neighborhood, it, it's crazy. You know, some people gonna look at you as lame. Some people gonna look at you as the boss. Some people gonna look at you as a square. Yeah, but, doing the just because you're doing the right thing. But y- your job is to make it to the next day. For real. You know what I'm saying? And For if real. you can make it to the next day, you good. Yeah, man, <laughs> goal accomplished. I mean, and like I said, that's not just Memphis. Like, yeah, it's, it's Mississippi. They they beefing. So yeah. For like, real. Yeah, really. They get knocked down, man. People getting killed yeah. everywhere. Chicago, yeah, Houston, for sure. But 
again, I would try to tell people, look at life as a as a precious thing. Don't don't look at it like, uh, well, you know, well, next week we go, you might not make it next week. Might not. So when you hit me up, I ain't waiting. Let's yeah. do it. I want the earliest time. That's dope, man. You, that's, like I say, you the first one. <laughs> I ain't, you said, well, I thought that's where you twin. No doubt. <laughs> I, I don't want to go last. Quit middle. playing, yeah. Go, go yeah. Go on, get it in. Uh-huh. Let, let's that's get it real. right. That's real, man. Man, that's what's up, bro. Um, Man, uh, the last thing I want to do, brother, I want you to um, give me your, um, I ain't going to say five. I'm going to say, man, what you got planned for the next three What's your next three-year vision, man? What you got up for the next three, three uh, years? Man, well, we, we're currently working on these restaurants, expanding um, the vision on the restaurant. So I want to – The bistro, right? Yeah, I want to take it to um, another level. You know okay. I kind of undercut myself when I first started. So I want to take it to a higher platform. Okay. Um, then I'm also going to do, start doing more shows, more concerts. Okay. Um, and in, in the real estate as well, we we looking to get more commercial property. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? As far as real estate goes, quick little story. Mm-hmm. Um, I took the classes out of the courses yeah. and everything. I never took the test because, again, it's all about what you know and who you know. Mm-hmm. Uh, my mom, before she died, she set up like a platform with, with property. Okay. So she always bought tax land. Yeah. And that's what I stuck to. Mm. Still do today. And once I went to real estate school, um, I found out, you know, and that's just thinking small. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm being honest with you. I, I thought small and kind of selfish ego got in the way. No. This was last year. And I said, well, why am I getting a broker 6.5%? He ain't do nothing. So that's when the hustle mentality come <laughs> in. Like, well, I'm straight. I'm just going to keep buying these tag lanes. <laughs> Live to get 100%. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But and I got partners that are real estate agents that do good. Um, they sell a multi million dollar crib. Yeah. And that's where it comes in at. Yeah. Like, do you want to stay at a certain level? Or take it up. Or do you want to go up? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I, I think I'm going to go ahead and take my test just to have go that accolade. Get, yeah. But the restaurants is, is where I'm at. The nightlife. Um, as far as not even clubs no more. I'm just into really? the lounges and, you know. Like the grown I said, folk stuff. Yeah, and like I said, I'm I'm working more on just spreading my wings in general with other establishments. Yeah. So that's what I'm doing now in Memphis. Like when I go, you know, I'm setting up little, you know, little plays where hey, I can guarantee you this amount of customers. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. I'm I'm really gonna brand ambassador in a lot of little spots. I got a lot of connections in Houston, Dallas, that's what's up. Atlanta. That's what's up. But the restaurants. That's where you. That's where you leaning. You yeah, leaning going, in on we're that. We're going towards restaurants and high volume entertainment, man. High volume. Yeah. Like I want to. If it's here, I want my name is attached to it. Dig so that. So that's where I'm going with um, in Memphis, man. That's what's up, man. Yeah. That's what's up. We gonna have to link up and make oh, something shake, man. Safe, here, man. man. You know. Yeah, we got to link up, and make some shake, brother. I hey. wanna do something. So, like I said, it's just all about um, put my ego to the side. That's what's up, brother. You know, last year I did, and I was just like, you, 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 man, you man enough like to these admit that. don't know me. You yeah, know you, you man like, enough to admit it. That's real, though. It takes a lot. I ain't from Memphis, so. Yeah, so you, you know. Yeah. And, and then, but then in, 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 in hindsight, you have to establish yourself oh, in yeah, that course, way. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just yeah, like, no. it's like a male dog walking and pissing on a, on a five. Yeah, he got to let you know I'm here. Like, I don't know what they say when I leave. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. But I'm here. Yeah, you know it, it's love. Yeah, now. yeah it's love. It's yeah. Gonna, they show love, and I, and I don't want nothing for free. You know no what I'm saying? Yeah, but no. But if, if, if need be, I pay my way already. Yeah. And I pay my dues to a lot of establishments here because no when I come, I bring my people. Right. Like my NFL partner come. I'm taking you them to come. the spots. Right. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm, I'm texting, hey, look, I got blah, blah, blah with me. I don't Pull yeah. up. You so, and that goes back, you got to respect that now. And I don't feel, uh, one more thing. So yeah. when I'm coming through, I like to, <laughs> I'm hit the owner up. Yeah. Versus, you know, I ain't going through no site. Yeah, we don't want, yeah, I ain't going to no website. That, yeah. yeah, that's just too much for me. <laughs> and I think they be kind of like, oh, this, 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 yeah. but yeah. I mean, but I got your number. Yeah, let me call. You. Hey, look, so you can understand the severity of the situation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then if and the call is worthy though, if it's you know what I'm saying, it's real business. Yeah, it's the call be worthy. Yeah. Me yeah, that's what we got. I'm a call. I'm a, I'm a tickler. I'm a chicken temperature. I'll be like, 
hey, look, what's up, blah, blah. And sometimes they text me out the blue, like, hey, what you doing, pull up. Yeah. Blah, 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 blah. You know, like no I doubt, said, no doubt. the love is, is smooth. You know yeah, I mean? I, I'm like that. I, you know, you get you hear about a lot of hate that go on in Memphis, man. I can honestly say, man, I get love. Yeah, no, I mean, th- that's what I'm saying. So yeah. it's not a spot that I don't go to that I don't get. You know, ain't nobody. Like I said, I, I, I get in with. You know the who's who. Yeah. You know, even promoters like the love is straight. You know love, what I mean? Yeah. It, From a promoter love. to a promoter, you know I'm gonna get some that type comp- of competitive energy. Nah, yeah. it's not. You know what I'm saying? I, you know I. I and like you said, it ain't necessary though. Nah, Everybody can eat. They show me love. I show them love. When yeah. I have my events, come down. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. I'm a comfy. You know what I'm saying? I want you to see what I really do. You know what I'm saying? So even when I come to Memphis when I'm out. We always embracing each other, no, no matter doubt. what. You know no what I'm saying? Doubt. From the female promoter to the male promoter. You know what I'm yeah. saying? What's up? You know what I'm saying? I, I feel the love. No, you know no what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, So, yeah. Um, like I said, that's my next thing is just keep planting seeds throughout the city, other cities. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, Using my connections to work on the entertainment side. and Because, uh, like I said, I bring a certain, you know, preference when I come through, you know, in any establishment that, that no I promote. Doubt. Whether it's restaurants, you know, the lounges, nightlife, you know, yeah. I don't mind. That's what's up, That's what I do. That's what's up, man. Well, um, if there's nothing else, man, uh, we're going to end it on that note. Oh, yeah, man. Um, one more thing, one more thing, one more thing, one more thing. I forgot. I got to have you do this. Go ahead. We really need a part two now. I got a lot. Of- oh, we got, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we got some more we can come back with now. But oh. I want you to do this, brother. I want you to. Uh, tell the people one thing about you that you want them to know. I, I like to do that because, you know, it'd be like, you know, it's like that one thing. If nothing, if you don't know nothing else about Smurf, man. I'm cool as a fan. Know this. I'm cool as a fan. Like, cool as a fan. <laughs> like, no, no, people would be like, you be looking mean. Yeah. Oh, I'm cool. Cool as a fan. I'm cool as a fan. I'm a people person. I, Like I said, I love to, you know, meet new people. I love to kick it. Now, I'm not you know what I'm saying? Everybody cup of tea. Now I don't, I don't, right, I, don't right. I don't just flock with everybody. I'm you know, with you. But I'm with you. at the same time, I give everybody a chance, and I'm cordial to everybody. No doubt. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. I'm cool. Like, like I'm laid back. You know, when I'm turning up, I'm turning up. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? When it's time to do a presentation, I'm doing a presentation. Doing a presentation. Yeah. But I'm always gonna be smirking. Yeah. So I'm never gonna switch it. But I can't. say cool in the morning. I'm cool, dog. Yeah. I mean, nothing. You know, I done made it through. Yeah, you don't push through, yeah. <laughs> I mean, hard, you know. Yeah. I mean, I ain't mad too much. I can dig it. You know, I can dig it, I made it through losing my mama, the kids, yeah. the baby mama drama. Oh, they Lost all the money with the truck. We yeah. got that back. Got so, it back, yeah. I mean. <laughs> ain't no need. Ain't no need to trip it no more. Yeah, everything good. Man, man, we can watch it on the rug, man. We, we'll figure it out. I mean, I just, seriously, though, cool as a fan, dog. Mm. And I don't mind being cool with people. Through other people, like I, I like there's a lot of people I know through other people. Yeah, and I, what's up with you? I cool with them too. And yeah. I ain't never even, I just seen you with yeah, my man. Yeah. You know that, like, I mean? like how can I we met? And respect, respect, respect. I yeah, mean, it's, it's just, just all about it. Yeah, you know my vibe. I give out good vibe. I, ain't, you know, I don't want your spot. Real shit. I don't yeah. want your money. I, don't, I just want to vibe. Yeah. Go home, figure out how to be wealthy, and do it again. And come day. back again. That's it. We that's all it. trying to make it. That's it. We ain't made it yet. Nah, we still making it. Yeah. That's what we doing. So that one, man, man, I'm just cool as a fan. If, if anybody want to know something about me. And I'm always open to, I'm a risk taker. Yeah. So if it, I mean, you know, we talking now. If it's something yeah. makes sense, I'm like, man, what you talking Let's about? Let's see about it. Dig that. <laughs> and if I ain't got all resources. See, we'll go get them. We're going to go get them. <laughs> <Damn>, we're <laughs> going to go get them. <laughs> <them. laughs> <laughs> 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 <Them all, like, laughs> That's what's up, man. Well, we're going to end it on that note, man. That concludes oh, yeah. another episode of Beyond the Clientele. I'm your host, J100, Mr. So 100. You know I do it the So 100 way. And shout out to my special guest, my boy, Jamal and Smirky Fair in the building, man. Salute.